We'll now go over the landmarks of the anterior torso. First, we'll start with the first rib. To find the patient's first rib, go behind the patient where they're either supine or sitting and run down with your hands along their neck. Immediately inferior, directly inferior I should say, to the external acoustic meatus, palpate down just in front or anterior to that trapezius muscle back here. You'll feel a bony bilateral ridge on both sides and that is the patient's first rib. Sometimes people prefer to use a hand grip similar to this, but be careful because that technique can be very painful for your patient. Next, we'll look for the patient's clavicle, also known as the collarbone. To find this, just drape your hands over the patient's back and neck and feel that S-shaped bone curve up from the patient's manubrium all the way back to their chromioclavicular joint. The next landmark is the jugular notch, which is located in the superior most portion of the patient's man, uh, excuse me, sternum or manubrium. You'll feel a notch in between the two clavicular heads. Next, we'll look for the sternoclavicular joints, which are bilateral and are where the clavicle, the collarbone, which we found earlier, connects that manubrium. You'll feel a round clavicular head on each side, and in between that and the patient's manubrium, or their sternum, is where that sternoclavicular joint is. The next landmark is called the synchondrosis. This is where the first rib connects with the manubrium, or the superior most por portion of the patient's sternum. To find this, we'll go to those sternoclavicular joints, those heads of the clavicle we just found, and go just inferior until on both sides we'll feel the first rib, which will then disappear back to the patient's posterior. This is where the first rib connects with the sternum and is also called the synchondrosis. After that, we'll look for the sternal angle, also known as the angle of Louis. This is where the second rib connects to the patient's sternum. If you palpate down the patient's sternum, you eventually feel a ridge or a little bump about a third of the way down, and that's the sternal angle. Right lateral on both sides of the sternal angle is where the second costal cartilage is going to be. Essentially, that's where the second rib connects to that sternal angle. We'll then look for the infraclavicular fossa, which is the lateral two-thirds of the clavicle just inferior to it. It feels like a hollow divot. So you can palpate for that clavicle and then just inferior on the lateral two-thirds portion. And lastly, we'll find the costal clavicular space which is the medial third of that clavicle in the same region. It won't feel quite as hollow, but that's where it's located.